Hi guys. So I have actually decided to perhaps play Shadow more lately and make it a priority. And I feel like I decided to do that because healing is feeling really unfulfilling for me lately. Um, I had a talk with someone that I've been playing with recently and kind of just feel disappointed. It's not that I dislike healing. At times I feel like I do just because of how stressful and how much more difficult the role can be in terms of like what goes on in the dungeon. So for example, if some pull goes bad and pride spawns, that is very stressful for the healer because you have to play very well to help the group make it through. And that could be the same for DPS, yeah, but the thing is, as DPS, there's only so much you can do, right? If you don't have cooldowns, then you're just doing your regular rotation. Nothing is actually stressful for you. You're just dealing damage. But as a healer, it just feels very different. And also, I think a big contributing factor as well is just simply because we can't find consistent people to play with. So if we are pugging one or two people and they turn out to be unenjoyable people, then that also makes healing feel less satisfying because I'm not enjoying the group. And then it also just makes it feel like um, my efforts are not really appreciated and there's just <laughs> a bunch of people out there who um, think they can dictate how you use your PI and they just constantly spam you with that. So um, I have been trying to practice shadow more recently. Um, honestly, when it comes to shadow, I have actually been probably too hard on myself. I consider myself a handicap if I play shadow in dungeons because I feel like I haven't had enough practice and based on my item level, it's pretty low. It's 221, right? So sometimes when I look at my overall damage for dungeons, I feel like I'm doing really, really bad damage, but also at the same time, it can be hard to tell just because every dungeon is different. Um, mob size, when it comes to pulls, those all differ. So... I just need more practice for sure because even if I do one dungeon or two dungeon and it's the same one basically and you just need to figure out where to use your cooldowns um cooldown usage is something that I have actually been struggling with because I find it difficult to know when it's okay to use PI without void eruption like while that 30 seconds while it's still down and then um, also knowing the route to know when you can use your cooldowns before a boss and have it safely be up on pull. All of that stuff has still been very challenging for me to figure out. And then there's also um, many pulls where I am not focusing on my rotation, but rather I am overly focused on making sure I'm using utility. So I've talked about it before where DPS that don't use utility bother me like I don't want to play with those players because they're not smart players they're brain dead players so on a ton of these pulls I am trying to make sure that I communicate my silences that I stun mobs that need to be stunned and um, since it's bursting week I also have to focus on mass dispelling so all of that can take away from my um, my DPS rotation but also, when it comes to AoE, I don't know the conditionals very well. So on Warcraft Priests, it tells you how if you're using Searing Nightmare, you only want to spend Insanity on Searing for this condition. If there are six or more mobs, you should never be using Vampiric Touch on this. Just all of those conditionals I actually need to read through and kind of memorize because there's a lot of times right now where I still feel like I'm kind of just winging my rotation and doing whatever. And there's definitely a lot of things that I can optimize in my oh, play. So, so I actually decided to choose this run because there were a few areas or boss fights where I felt like I did surprisingly well. Um, the first boss here, I actually was surprised at my DPS. 
But I guess when it comes to single target, I think I'm pretty consistent with um, doing my rotation correctly. One thing that I'm trying to improve on is not overcapping insanity, which is basically since we have so much haste with heroism and PI, it's very easy for us to gain insanity during that duration. Oh, he's gonna so oftentimes, um, I started getting into the habit of not refreshing devouring play too early because you want the uptime to be high, right? But when you have overcapping insanity, it's okay to refresh it super early uh -huh. just because the damage rolls over and um, there's no reason to overcap, right? If you're casting something that can generate 8 insanity and you're already at 100, just spend it first and then cast. That way you can keep um, generating and just cycling through your resource. But also second boss in Necrotic, normally I do um, pretty mediocre to bad damage on him because when the ads spawn... I don't always have convenient insanity to immediately Searing Nightmare them. So sometimes if I'm spending time channeling um, Seer and it's taking a long time to gain that 30 insanity, then my damage on the ads is really bad. But I think for this dungeon, it managed to sync up pretty nicely because our heroism was down for a couple seconds, which made it so I told myself to hold my cooldowns. And then once heroism was used, I think I just ended up using Void Eruption and PI when the ads spawned, so that added a lot of damage, and it just felt like, I don't know, things managed to fall into place for that boss, when normally I do really, in my opinion, I think, I do really bad damage for that boss. But anyways, um, yeah, it's just very hard for me to correctly judge my damage right now, because... Um, I'm probably also incorrectly carrying my damage to players of other classes, right? Because I have not played with many Shadow Priests. Um, the one time that I did, he was outgearing everybody at the start of the expansion because he PvP'd. He was like 8 item levels higher than me when I was just disc. And um, his single target was insanely high. He was just, you know, destroying everybody on damage. So, I am... Trying to get used to it. I also have to remember to putt. I'm not putting at all right now. I'm hardly remembering to use it. A few changes that I needed to make were my soul binds also, because since I was mostly healing as this and I didn't want to keep changing my conduit energy and run out when you're switching back and forth, I decided to use a different soul bind companion for shadow, which is inferior. I was using like Clea or Forge Light Mykonos, which <laughs> they're not as good as Pelagos. So if I am focusing more on playing Shadow now, I should feel comfortable switching my um, Conduit Energy on Pelagos. And um, the rare times that I do decide to heal, maybe it's infrequent enough where my energy regen is not going to be a problem when it comes back and forth. But um it it does feel very strange, actually, how um, the entire time during Legion playing Shadow, I felt so confident. And then now, every time that I play Shadow, I'm overly critical of my damage. Like, if we're still in the middle of the run, and first boss, for example, in Theater of Pain, dies, and I look at my damage, and it's a multi-target fight, right? So normally, I would expect to be doing very good damage oh, that. on that boss. But I think it's also slightly based on luck too, right? Because be if they are close together for the majority of your Void Eruption, then your dots will extend and you don't need to refresh them as often. But sometimes that's not always the case. And um, I think I also am not entirely used to watching boss frames very well to be able to make sure that I keep my dot uptime like very high and make sure they don't ever fully fall off. But... Yeah, it's just a lot of the times right now, I definitely consider myself a handicap. Um, this key turned into a 20 Spires, and I felt a little concerned that I didn't have the damage that would be necessary to make, a, um, to make timing a 20, not super, super, super tight. But I definitely need to get over that because I can't improve without practice, and I also can't improve if I keep thinking of myself as dead weight party, 
and just need to have confidence. So hopefully you guys will be seeing more shadow videos and hopefully um, I will find myself enjoying doing these dungeons a bit more, playing shadow, but it would also be nice if we managed to find a consistent healer to run with that I can become more familiar with and feel confident with just because um, that would make me doing my role much easier just because I can focus on that while trusting that the healer that we're playing with is very good. Anyways, enjoy the rest of this run and um, thanks for watching. She's standing in melee for the green thing. Stack. Uh, I'm gonna grab this. Or you wanna use this hammer on the next pride? And then I'm assuming since we have to come back and kill this set of ads, um, you'll come back for the spear. Uh, we're gonna use the spear where? Sorry, it's uh, no, after yeah, the attack on boss. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna so use the spear on the next boss, and then yeah, yep. you come back. Spear and hammer. Uh, do you want me to use both on the next boss, or just the spear? Uh, just the spear should be fine. We're gonna lust, right? Okay. Wait, when it comes up. I'm gonna. You want me to shackle uh, one? Uh, no, I, not this, not this set. Okay. Yeah, kill boss. Kill boss, kill boss, kill boss. Kill boss.
break the shield when he uses it. Spear back there. Yep, that's how I'm gonna get that. Man. I hate it. I hate the amount of stuff that like gets interrupted and then they immediately fast again. When do you want me to use the orb? from this to grabbing the pat and that in the left corner. You're into that kind of thing? Uh, up to you. I still don't know how to see that. I think we should like not take any features, but I don't okay. know. No, we don't have to. If you don't think it's risky, then it's fine. I do have orbs, so. Yeah, I, and I have, I have mobile taunt, so. Above. Yeah, left and the and the path. So I'm gonna wait till they're closer, and then I'm just gonna. Oh, I just popped my cooldown, so I don't. Have... We shouldn't need it, right? Yeah, no, he's gonna use orb. Okay. Right, I'm going in. That repair. Uh, can you drop the uh, your belt? Yeah, it's dropping right now. I'm stunning drain. Oh, dude, the belt's so good. Holy shit. Oh fuck! Fuck! I gotta dispel this off. We gotta attack really quick. Oh, we have frags. Yeah, we have frags. That void eruption is on me. Here, I moved a little bit. I'm using a VE. I've got dot, so it's gonna die naturally. Uh, well, we need at least one. Oh no! Oh. Don't move it. Sorry. It, it might have hit it. Uh, kill my son on that Uh, watch out. Don't heal me, I'm using Disperse. Uh, I'm gonna double pull this and... Okay. And, uh... I got- oh, yeah, you got it. Stunning train. You want to eat something? Okay, I should be okay now. You want me to grip the next mutilate? Yeah, we should be fine. 
fine. We should be fine. Everything, okay. everything dropped. We're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm asked uh, right now, right now. Smoking cloud. <laughs> You're making all this so stressful for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just stack up here real quick. Cause I'm we can we can bop the first one just so they come in. Yeah, no, I just wanted I wanted these things. Wait, are they both on me? Oh fuck. <laughs> they don't look like they're both on me. I'm gonna bop the first uh on I'll fix it, yeah, thanks. <laughs> No, I, I bopped them. Fine. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh. I'm gonna just release this. <laughs> Notice too slow. Fix it. It's on me. We get pride at the end. Oh, shoot. What happened? I'm gonna use VE. Well, um. You guys can kite. I'm coming back. Up. I just melded. <clears throat> wait, wait. Can you stay alive? <laughs> yeah, I bubbled. Okay, are you almost here? I'm coming up. I'm afraid to reveal myself. All right. Okay. I have a Oh, I see. We're good now. Yeah, so Gut Slice got you guys. Um, you probably drop it. Actually, he's yeah. dead soon. Try to kill the the bits but, yeah. before the last guy. I know it's kind of a pain in the ass, but the big guy spawns pride. And these things like to jump at my back. Okay. Um, let me get. Oh, never mind. No, I, I can, I can survive. Okay. Yeah, yeah but, but, but I'm saying, like, I don't know if I can. Survive. He's should be up soon. I'm here. That's my 
cheap. So that's fine. Uh, one sphere, yeah. Yeah, one sphere. Who else has a Uh, I'll rest you. I'll rest you. Oh, that's just a mana for the other. Looks. Oh, what? Yeah. Next one at stage. Yeah, next one. This time. So we have. Yeah, I have I a have hammer. Any... You have a spear. Do we have anything else? I'm saving for when you come up with cool stuff. Cool stuff. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, but he gets 100% crit out of this anyways, if you were still. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wait for the shit. Oh, nice. Hey, someone knows, who knows what clockwise is, dude. Uh, oh, I got it. Paladin things. Yep. <laughs> you you uh, use the next one, you said? I'll use that one. Okay. Come up, use it on the next shield. Now it's my turn. Okay, um, shields in five seconds. You should already use it. Here it is. Spear already, Tim? I'm gonna drop it over here. Oh shit. I'm gonna disperse. I saw oh, the hammer. Yeah.
fires.